So in the previous video, we had implemented auth service inside our application. And we had registered auth service in app.module.ts. So what is the next step? Now, once we have the auth service already registered here, let's make use of this auth service. Let's import and inject that auth service inside our login.component.ts. Okay, let's do that now. Let's import auth service. From what's the path of it dot slash auth dot service. Okay, now we have imported auth service here. Next, to make use of this auth service inside our login dot component dot ts, we have to inject that. So, how we can inject that by making use of constructor inside our login component class? So, inside login component, let's use constructor and let's inject auth service. Private. This is a private local variable which we are using inside this class using the auth service. Okay. Now we have injected auth service in our login component. Okay. <clears throat> what we should do next, we have to make use of this and pass form value properties to our service. Previously, we had logged in to the console, whatever the form values displayed, that is username and password. So let's get rid of this console and let's write this dot auth service. Okay. Dot login user and we are going to pass this time the form values using these properties that is username and password okay the other one is form values dot password okay so what is the problem over here? If you observe the username, password, which are properties passed over here as a local variables, we are making use of that inside our constructor. That is, we are importing this auth service inside our constructor by injecting here and then making use of this auth service to log in the user using form values that is username and password. Okay. If you observe over here, what we have done is we have provided colon over here by mistake, sorry. Okay, let's save these changes. Now what we have done is we have imported the auth service and we have injected the auth service for the constructor over here that is for login component.ts. So now what is the next step? We have the login form values from username and password which is come from coming from the form values that is passed to this method that is login user. So next step what we have to do is inside our navbar component we have to import this auth service as well. Why? Because inside our navbar HTML we have to include a link where it will allow user to log in or based on that authentication that we will see in the later part of this video. So next thing what we have to do is let's go to navbar component.ts. So here also let's import auth service and inject okay let's import auth service okay this is from which path dot dot slash user slash auth dot service okay and what we have to do we have to inject this inside our navbar component so how to inject by making use of constructor the constructor and here we are going to pass by creating a variable that is auth which comes from auth service okay. that's it so now we have imported and injected auth service inside our navbar component as well next thing what we have to do is we have to make use of this auth which we have created in this which we have injected inside this navbar component and include inside our navbar component.html so inside our navbar component.html what we have to do previously we had a router link user slash profile we are by default we were displaying the user that is welcome Harsha. directly we were displaying we were not authenticating anything 
Now what we are going to do, we will make use of this auth service and we will authenticate based on a condition. What is the condition? If the user is authenticated, it should show the message welcome username. Okay. And if the user is not authenticated, it should show login link. Right. This is that is how our application should work. So to do that, first what we have to do is let's display login link if user is authenticated and welcome message if user is not authenticated. Okay. Login link if user is not authenticated and welcome message if user is authenticated. Let's implement that now. Okay. To do that, first what we have to do, we have this router link for user slash profile. Okay. Similarly, what we have to do, let's create another link over here that is login link, which should be displayed when user is not authenticated. Okay. Let's do that. Now let's create another link that is login link. Okay. We have two links now that is login link. The other one is the welcome message. Now this login link should be displayed when user is not, at, uh, not authenticated. So how we can do that by making use of ngif. So let's do that using ng if and what is the condition over here which we want to display if user not authenticated that is not of auth what is this auth this property comes from where inside navbar component.ts we had injected right we have injected auth service and we have created this property that is auth and we are making use of this auth property inside over here to see if the user is authenticated or not dot is authenticated method okay if you remember in our previous video, we had uh, already implemented is authenticated method. The same method I'm going to call over here to see if user is authenticated or not. Okay. And correspondingly to this, I should have a router link. Okay. Router link. And this router link should point to where it should point to. If you observe over here, it should point to slash user slash login that is user slash login why it is user slash login it's because if the user is not authenticated i want to display this login link and i should navigate to slash user slash login right if user is authenticated then we have to log log in to that user and we should display the welcome message so similarly like this we have to put condition for the other link as well okay so ng if equals if the user is authenticated that is auth dot is authenticated we are calling the same method but here we are negating it means if the user is not authenticated it will show the login link if user is authenticated it will show the message okay welcome message so the router link here in this case will be user slash profile but will because it will log into this user and it should show profile of that user correct right so this is fine router link is fine now what else we have to do the next thing what we have to do is sorry by mistake okay router link active equals active this is fine and here i have to display the name of the user by making use of auth how we can do that instead of instead of passing directly welcome harsha we have to pass like this what we have to pass auth dot what is the current user okay that current user property dot first name so where is this coming from this first name is coming from the model which we had created before if you remember user.model.ts here this is the first name which we have created okay and we have made use that inside our service auth.service if you remember here we have username first name last name and is authenticated method implemented and here we are creating a property current user which is which is taking from i user model this model we are taking over here for this current user property and we are making use of this property inside navbar.component.html that is auth.current user dot first name okay that's it so these are the changes which we have to do so that what we are doing here whenever the user is authenticated it will navigate to user slash profile and it will display welcome the username okay that's the first name similarly suppose if the user is not authenticated then it should navigate to login page that's it these are the changes which we have to do so far which we have done so far 
Now, before seeing the application, how this works, let's understand the flow once what, what we have done so far. Now you can see that how data is moving from our input boxes, which is getting wired up with ng model and how we pass that inside our ng submit to our login method. And inside our login method, what we are doing, we are calling our auth service and passing in username and password, right? This is how we are seeing the entire flow. From input boxes, it will wire up using the ng model and we pass that with ng submit to our login method and inside our login method we are calling our auth service and passing in username and password so this is the entire flow which we have seen so far okay now let's run this application run this project and let's see the output okay let's run by making use of npm space start <clears throat> building the modules got compiled successfully and hosted on localhost 4200 let's open this link now okay now if you observe whenever i click on this login button it is navigating to slash user slash login right now what i'm going to do i'm going to pass username and password okay i'm passing username and password and clicking on login when i click on this login Immediately, if you observe here, the login button is getting changed to welcome prints. What is welcome prints? The welcome message is getting displayed from this method. Welcome auth.currentuser.firstname. What is the first name of this user? That is prints, which we have passed, right? So welcome prints is getting displayed because the user got authenticated. Auth.is authenticated method. This is getting called and the welcome message is getting displayed okay <clears throat> now the next thing what we have to do if you observe here in this application yes it is right that we have authenticated the user and we are able to see the welcome message but what about the navigation once we are entering the username and password and clicking on login method this message is fine but it should navigate to all events right it should not display the same page it should not display the same login page so that we have to implement next. Once I click on login, it should navigate to all events page and this welcome message should retain here. That's how the login user will be authenticated. Yes, it is authenticating, but it is not navigating the required page, right? It is navigating to the same page. So let's implement that next. And we also want to implement for this cancel button as well. When I click on cancel, it should still go to all events page and it should show login button over here it should not show welcome prints that is welcome message it should show that you have to still log into this application so all this let's implement in our next video thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos